Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Sunday evening. It's November 24th, and now it's 8.03 p.m. I've been trying hard all day long to catch up my email, and uh, I'm, I think I, I'm almost done, but I may have to let it go till tomorrow. There's not many left, but this... I have to report something that our uh, sister, um, Aubrey, I'm pretty sure that's right. Let me make absolutely certain. Yeah. Aubrey McCloskey has sent me pictures that she took or someone took in her home after she, uh, she got a used couch, um, trying to see there's so many emails back and forth about it I don't remember where she got it all right um, the point is when she took a picture of her son standing in front of the couch two demons turned up now at first I as big as she made the picture I didn't see him I didn't realize what I was looking at because there I was looking for wispy little figures, you know, that you could see through. But these things are so solid that showed up. I thought the one one was just a blanket under the bed, kind of wadded up and and I really couldn't make out the face. Because the picture is kind of pixelated from being blown up so big. And the other one is to the side of her elbow. And it does look like an object just hanging in midair. I mean, I should have picked up on that one. And then under it is like wispy. Like the bottom half of it is just like a... Oh, wispy. It's the only way I know how to describe it. I am going to, I did take a snapshot of just like the chest that shows the object by the arm. And you see the green couch behind them and the, the object under it. And I'm hoping that you will be able to see it. I'm going to use that in the custom thumbnail. The whole point of this is to tell you that even a good Christian woman can receive a used couch from somebody and when you don't anoint it, she did not anoint it, it, it had demons attached in it. Um, I'm trying to remember the home it came from. Uh was where a lot of sinning was going on. I'm trying to remember exactly, but there, like I said, we back and forth like all day. Uh, her trying to, let's see, that's not it. Okay, here it is. Good afternoon. I found the picture I have of my son from a few years ago where two demonic entities showed up in the picture one behind his left arm facing your right so when you see this part i took out it'll be to your our right it's his left arm your your right vision and one beneath the couch the back story to the picture is i took a picture of him my son for crazy sock day at school i noticed the one entity behind him on his left, but not the one under the couch for a while. My mom's friend, Glenda, actually noticed the one under the couch. And she supposedly works in the prophetic. I honestly think she is a diviner because she keeps telling my mom her future and it makes me angry. Glenda immediately said upon looking, Where did you get that couch? 
we had gotten this couch from my husband's friend who is very promiscuous and is not Christian. I know telling what went on on the couch. Got my point. These critters, putting it lightly, came into my home attached to this couch. This proves the scripture is absolutely true. If you bring a cursed object into your home, you become a cursed thing like it. These couches are out of my house. And when I found out, I had immediately pled the blood of Jesus on them and anointed them. This shows the importance of blessing everything you bring into your home and that this stuff is real. Absolutely. I, I've heard other stories that are similar, which is why when I got this chair free from downstairs because somebody died and left all their belongings and this place had to get rid of them anyway I ended up getting this couch when they had originally told me oh you don't want that you don't want it but some anyway long story short I got it and I anointed it and pleaded the blood of Jesus over it right away because I didn't know who had it or what you know what they had in their apartment if you know what I mean? Demons can attach themselves to objects as well as animals. Why? That's why you need to plead the blood of Jesus over your pets. This spiritual warfare stuff is so real, people. Okay, then she sends me a picture of her daughter. Oh my gosh, she's so creepy. I thought about using that picture, but it has her face in it, so I'm not going to do that. But let me explain it to you. She's sitting on the couch, I believe, or maybe, she, yeah, I believe she's on the couch, and she has a dog by her or with her, right there near her, and you can see the TV on over here, and there's a lot of sunlight coming in, so you can see the rays of the sun. But there is this object right in front of her mouth, like it's trying to go in. It looks like it has, like, how did she describe it? Well, to me, it looked like a, I would have said more like a lobster, except not big claws, just small ones. Anyway, but it was blobby, blobby-ish with some kind of legs coming out of it and it was right here by her mouth Ugh. It, I thought oh that is so creepy and you know of course she didn't she didn't see it in, in real life but the camera took it the Lord allowed them to show up on her pictures so she could report them to other people so anyway I just wanted to explain that one to you my point is, any of you, I know, sister, one of you, I was looking at your channel. You, you'll you know who you are. Any of you that go to yard sales, thrift, uh, thrift stores, or trade days, or, um, you know, where you go to buy used stuff. Uh, I don't know about so much about used stuff, but what would it hurt if, what if the boss and the man, the managers were all demonic and they, I don't know if they could get new furniture, I don't know, but you know, what would it hurt to anoint that stuff too? I mean, I don't ever think to say anything over my groceries that get delivered, but it made me think. I, what about the person who brings them? They come into my home. I don't know what they do, what they believe, what's their religion. You know what I mean? If they're Satanists, demons could certainly attach themselves to them. Demons can attach themselves to a regular person who doesn't have the Holy Spirit. Walk into your room and it can jump off. 
That's why I do spiritual warfare prayers every single night. If if your place is covered in blood, I think, and I cover this whole building with the blood of the Lamb every night, so I don't think any demon is going to come in here. It's going to jump off before they walk through the door. That's what I believe. So I don't really worry about it. But when you bring in something like this chair, all right, it's been inside this building. And yes, I plead the blood of Jesus over all of our belongings. You know, I I just don't know how. I'm the kind of person that says, better safe than sorry. What's the harm of taking 30 seconds or less to anoint a piece of furniture and plead the blood of Jesus over it individually by, you know, as opposed to me saying every night, I plead the blood of Jesus over all of our belongings. Well, anyway, I've made this long enough. I just wanted to warn you to be careful what you bring into your home because Satan is desperate right now. He wants to get into our minds. He wants his demons to get their, you know, put thoughts in our minds, to put our... Uh, Maybe move stuff around and make us think we're going crazy or losing our memories or whatever. He knows what buttons to push. Okay? So let's just keep up with spiritual warfare. If you haven't ever seen me do it, I'll do another video on it, on what I do every night. Okay? And I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, the internet connection in my computer, over each and every one of you, your devices, and your internet connections so we can stay connected until we're out of here. With that, I say bye for now. I will talk to you later.